Hello YouTubers, hello Cottercasters and welcome to Cottercast 17 Presented by me, James Cotter and brought to you by Makeshift Productions Hello Cottercasters, I am currently filming a few test shots and also taking some photographs of myself in character as Jeremy Spicer, my new character. I'm wearing the shades, I'll take them off actually because the sun's gone down. We were filming a little bit earlier and it was quite sunny so... But I think it makes me look like some sort of like English villain in a sort of American Hollywood film. No, maybe not. <laughs> Versatile actor, you say. Um, yes, anyway, I am filming for my new character, Jeremy Spicer. Um, some of you may know that I am doing a new show, and that goes with a new character, because I'm working with a company called Screenplay Productions, um, who have offered me a role in a programme with uh, Stuart Greenwood and Michael Curl, two writers, who are very talented writers, um, and nice people as well. <laughs> um, yeah, they've offered me a role in that, uh, where I'm playing a character alongside another character. Uh, my character is called Jeremy Spicer, and I've been working on him for about three weeks or so when developing the look, developing the backstory of the character and the voice and everything else. Um, I can't say t anything else about the program because I'm not allowed to, <laughs> but uh, all I can say is very exciting and a very big project and uh, the character Jeremy is someone I feel that would be probably my best character so far. Um, it's actually my fourth character, which is a bit weird, because um, I've done Paul Wade in Full Grand Conclusion, 2007, Harris in Ross, the crime drama in about 2007, and then in 2008, the short film, Harrison Doyle, Let the Good Times Roll, and then Mark Rogers recently in Back to Class, which was great fun, with Dan Pierce, and now my fourth character, Jeremy Spicer. So... It's going well, obviously as you can see I'm doing quite a few test shots and I've got the old polar neck, which I quite like the look of, and uh, the slick back hair, which is not quite slick back at the top yet because my hair is a bit too short. Um, for the last year or so I've had my hair quite short. Wonderful characters, Harrison Rogers, and also because I quite liked it. But I'm growing the hair a little bit and playing for this character because I think he should have long hair. Um, so yeah, so I have to wait a week or two before it's a little completely slipped back, but the sides are quite good, and the back, but yeah, I like that, that look, sort of suits the character, I can't tell you too much about the character, but it does suit the character, it's a clue though. Um, yeah, and I've got black, black jeans and the black polo neck, so it's quite a dark look for a darker character. This character though is actually going to be quite difficult to play, because it's probably the character with the most I have to act as much more emotion in this character than someone like Harris and Rogers. Um, Rogers is especially in the demo pilot is a lot more of a comedy character, you know? There are elements of real life in there obviously but it's bigger performance. This is a much more subtler performance, uh, as Jeremy Spicer. Um so I kind of hope to do in a few more characters than I do. But also go back to big performance, because I mean, when I'm doing Back to Class, I want to definitely do more of that. Um, so yeah, so Jeremy Spicer, new character. Hope you like him when he does come out. Um, when I know more, I will say more, but unfortunately I can't at the moment. Just saying it's very exciting, and keep a lookout for, you know, stuff I'm talking about Jeremy Spicer on. You know, Twitter and stuff like that. So, that's Jeremy Spicer. Also, Back to Class. Now, Back to Class... Uh, we have the demo pilot screened at the picture house a couple of God, a month or so ago now, more than that probably, um, which went down very well. We are going to be filming a pilot, a 
a 30 minute pilot because the demo pilot was only about 12 minutes so we're going to have a full version demo pilot called Take a Chance on Me and there's going to be quite a few changes um, the characters of As Keith Aspin and Mark Rogers are going to be slightly younger to accommodate our ages um, not that I can't play old but um, oh, well, I'm down as well but um, a few people have commented you know, it would be better if they were younger they made a bit more sense and I agree, I agree so yeah they're going to be younger and I think the costume I'm going to redesign the costume a little bit for Harris I've got some good ideas with that um, a vest don't worry <laughs> I'm going to have a shirt on as well so um, yeah so that would be quite good um, and yeah the pilot we're going to, what we're doing is we're writing the pilot now really um, with a few ideas now but we're really knuck knuckling down to actually write it soon and then we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna we're gonna um, film it in winter autumn before the end of the year definitely and yeah it's gonna be a big operation though because it's a 30 minute pilot so it's a big pilot um, I want to be a little bit more ambitious in terms of the filming style a little bit more filmatic um, use more locations and uh, go on location itself so we're going to expand our filming and make it look even more better and also the comedy is going to be better hopefully I'm going to be playing Rogers a little bit more subtly because there's the build up there so more acting for me and um, yes and you'll learn more about Keith Aspin which will be good because that's a great character so back to class it's going very well we're writing a pilot we're going to film a pilot in winter also, I've got a brand new character, Jeremy Spicer, who I am performing soon. I've got an ad lib session coming up soon. I'm going to film that, which is going to be for something quite important. Um, and then the actual show itself. So when I know a lot more, I will tell you. But for now, Cottercasters and YouTubers, if you have been, thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>